About two years ago, I first started looking into independent sector treatment centres, which are this public-private partnership um, whereby regular operations like knee hip, hip operations are outsourced to private clinics. The Department of Health pays for the operations, but um, the private clinic actually does them. And they were a way of reducing waiting time. And what we did, well, what I did when I was at, um, actually at university was to s send out an FOI to the Department of Health asking how much had been paid to the clinics um, and how many operations had been done because they were paying per operation. So then I could see how many operations the Department of Health had paid for, but actually that hadn't happened. Um, I then repeated this about two years later when I was at the Bureau. Um, so I had this data set, and I think it was about 260 million pounds that was overspent. I think that's about the figure um, that I found out. But we, I also looked at data that was already on the internet um, about uh, over overspending when the contracts were cancelled because some of the ISTCs weren't working. So there was a clause in the contract that said, if we don't renew the contract, the Department of Health will buy you back. So they were buying back the buildings. I think that was a cost of 180 million. So that, but that was already out there. But I added that to my figure. The other figure I found was um, there were extra centres that were closed out, and I can't remember the other figure actually. There was 50 million from somewhere else, but I can't remember where it's from. But basically, in total, I got a 500 million pound figure um, from lots of different sources, asking the Department of Health questions by um, via press offices and freedom of information requests. I had the idea to pursue the investigation because often investigations come from tip-offs and my father actually works in the NHS. So, um, so he uh, sort of gave me a hint that there might be something to look at. Um, and then I started looking at ISTCs, looking at the number of operations that were happening, looking at um, local reporting, um, you know, going on um, the, the systems that we have to look at um, all the different local news reports as well as national reports of problems with ISTCs, problems with local ISTCs, problems with people getting access to them, with um, questions over how operations were being performed and whether there were actually operations taking place as they should be. One, I mean, one centre was paid for operations, and it wasn't even built yet. So um, co started collating all this information and realised that there was a pattern. You know, it wasn't just one ISTC, it was you know, five or six that, that local news reporters were picking up on problems there. So that started the ball roll, I think. I guess an easy way to, when you find a pattern in something, I mean, for me, the easiest way was to look at the money money spent because overspending is always a problem particularly now you know, we're in a recession we're counting the pennies and up to 500 million overspent on um, hospitals or clinics that aren't doing the work that they were contracted to do is a big issue so follow the money I guess I mean it's cliche but that's what I did um, I asked the Department of Health you know I went to the specific um, body governing that area, and you can do that for any investigation. Obviously, it's a UK investigation, so it's easier um, than finding something international. But um, going to that body, um, I also talked to um, campaign groups, lobby groups, um, doctors, clinicians, nurses, looked on Facebook for groups about um, the NHS, Save Our NHS, had quite a lot of information about ISTCs. They'd started doing some research, um, looking on Twitter. Um, not as much the first time because Twitter wasn't really around, but second time I looked a little bit on you know updates and things like that. Um, 
about ha questions in Parliament, looking at Hansard, to really kind of focus on what the issues were, what had been asked about with ISDCs. And there were questions asked in Hansard which talked about overspending, which made me think there is something here. <laughs>